Hey there, Bipti here. Here's a short video I want to make about something cool which came out in minus 3 6.0. It's logic. Now it's possible to program things, which is really, really nice, but it's hard to get started. So I wanted to share something really easy you can do to try it out and to see how it works. First thing you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to click the microprocessor. There's different types of processors. They are different in that they have different ranges. Like this circle is where it can control stuff. As far as I understand, like until now, I don't completely get the topic, but I want to share what I know. So we'll start with the smallest one because it can do everything we need. The first thing to do after you place the processor is placing stuff which the processor is supposed to control. And then you need to link them up. So first you click the processor, then you click whatever is supposed to be controllable by it, and that's it. So here, when we click this processor, we see that the message one is connected, and right now there's nothing in it. So if we mouse over a message, we see what's in, what's written in it. Right now it's empty. Now we can go and program it by clicking this one, and then we are adding some code to it. We're going to do the simplest possible thing, namely, we're going to print something, here it's starting with, started with starting with frog, but I'm going to be really self-absorbed and try to write my own name here. And if we do this, we can go back and we see well, um, nothing changes. There's still we, we're print, we've printed stuff, but it's still empty. And the processor is doing stuff as we speak. It's trying to execute the code we entered, but to make it visible, we need to add one more thing. It's called print flush. And it's automatically trying to print stuff to message one. So the processor is saying, I want to print this series of letters, which have some meaning probably, not to me, I am a processor. And then it's telling message, hey, take the stuff I've just wanted to print and show it. And if we go back now and we mouse over the message, we see, hey, this is our text. If we go in here, and add something really meaningful, we can see that the message is the same. So as we're speaking, the processor is always printing the same line to this message. And that's it. That's the first thing you can do if you have a processor. You can just try to print text, see that it works. Before you do it, don't forget to link up the message block. You can also link up other things. For example, if you place down a turret and link it up, it's linked and now you can do cool stuff with it. But this is more complicated, and I hope I will be able to share it with you in a future video. All right. Thanks so much. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.